A key vote for tens of thousands of Disney workers. They're set to start casting ballots on a contract that would eventually raise starting pay to $20 an hour. But this morning, union leaders are urging them to reject it. Ezzy Castro live at Disney for us this morning. And Ezzy, they say the proposed wage increase isn't enough. Justin, it was just last week that union leaders met with cast members and said that this new deal would not be enough for them to live on. But Disney disagrees, calling the deal a very strong offer that will provide an increase over the next couple of years. Union leaders that represent over 40,000 Disney workers are urging them to vote no to the company's new contract offer. For months, the Service Trades Council has been negotiating with Disney, saying the current starting wage of $15 an hour is not enough for workers due to high rent and inflation. The new deal would increase pay to $20 an hour in five years, but in the first year, pay would only rise to $16. A dollar does not afford Disney workers with the ability to keep up with the skyrocketing rent increases, and one dollar does not allow Disney workers the ability to continue to purchase basic necessities like food, gas, and utilities where the prices have soared. Disney released a statement about its deal for cast members saying, this very strong offer provides our cast members with a nearly 10% average increase immediately and guaranteed raises for the next four years, with every single non-tipped cast member promised at least a $20 starting wage during the contract and the majority seeing a 33% to 46% increase during that time. And the union has been clear from our very first bargaining session that a dollar in the first year is not enough. So cast members will be able to vote starting at 7 o'clock this morning and they have all day tomorrow to do so. If they reject the deal, union leaders say that they will head back to the bargaining table. Live outside Walt Disney World, Ezzy Castro, going to results News 6. Ezzy, thanks. As for Disney itself, Governor DeSantis said yesterday plans are moving forward to have a state-run board take over control of the company's special government district. We're not going to have a corporation controlling its own government. That's going to be revert to the state. I'd rather, I mean, I'd, look, I'd rather be the local, but I don't, I don't think that they're prepared for it. So, so, so the state's going to have a board to run it. Last year, lawmakers abolished the decades-old Reedy Creek Improvement District after the company came out against the state's parental rights and education law. The governor's office had said a special session could be called as early as next week. So far, no specifics have been revealed, only a pledge that the change will not lead to a tax increase.